Hi guys, it's Ethereal La La La, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some of my favorite shoegaze songs because, fun fact, I am obsessed with shoegaze. It's my favorite genre. I watch countless documentaries on, on it, <laughs> and it holds a really special place in my heart, and so I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite songs. Some of these might be considered dream pop, but I feel like dream pop and shoegaze really go hand in hand. So yeah. Let's get started. So let's talk about the godfather of shoegaze, My Bloody Valentine. One of my favorite bands ever. So we're going to be talking about the album, Isn't Anything. So Isn't Anything is such a gritty album. It, it's, it's like nasty. It's like... Like... How do I explain this? It just makes you just want to do some crazy shit. <laughs> One of my favorite songs on that album is Soft As Snow But Warm Inside. The song essentially is about like sex. But I just love it so much. It's so cute. Like, I don't know. Like, the, like how Kevin Shields is like longing for this like connection it's so cute I, I don't know how to explain this but i'm gonna play a little clip for you so yeah great song i love it you should hear the full thing so my next favorite song on the isn't anything album is lose my breath this song is very emotional. Belinda's vocals is out of this world. It's so beautiful and such a strong, meaningful song. So the song essentially is about, you know, wanting someone that's kind of bad for you, I guess you would say. Um, Belinda wrote this song about her spouse that was um, addicted to drugs. And the song is just really beautiful and i'm gonna play a favorite line of that song and this is just kind of how i interpret the song i could be kind of wrong where are you come back again i want you to not now girl you say but i just want to face my friend and then hear this The next song off this album that I really enjoy is Feed Me With Your Kiss. This song is the epitome of like, it's so gritty, it's so nasty, and Belinda and Kevin Shields' vocals together just makes the song like, and fun fact, I was hearing this um, interview that Kevin Shields did recently, and I found out that he didn't even want to be like a singer. Um, Something happened with their male vocalist, and he just wasn't fitting the part for what the band wanted and they had a show coming up and no male vocalist so kevin shields was like all right i guess i will do it like that like makes me think like what if kevin shields never became a singer you know like imagine when you sleep would that song even exist the music video for this song is also so good So the next album I'm going to be talking about is the Glider album. And one of my favorite songs on that album is Soon. It's just so like ethereal and like, like, I mean, literally, if you see the music video, Belinda Butchers is just like going like, and the editing is out of this world, so. And then they play like this, like, 
It should be coming soon. song that I like is Off Your Face. This song is more of a melancholy vibe. Very different from Soon. Um, <laughs> I think I've cried to... <laughs> I think I've cried to that song multiple times. So let's talk about Loveless! <laughs> okay, I'm just joking with you. Um, I have some three main songs off Loveless that I just absolutely adore that is sometimes only shallow and blown a wish. Um, sometimes was, well, I actually haven't finished the movie, but this is a, there's a movie called Lost in Translation. And Kevin Shields' music is highly in there. I think he even wrote a song for that movie. And sometimes comes out in it. And I'm like, wow. Sometimes is like, I'm like sitting on the floor. Sometimes is one of my favorite songs because it's just, again, longing for love. <laughs> and it's just so great. And then Blown a Wish is so beautiful. Only Shallow is so beautiful. They're all ethereal type of songs. I think it's so like good. I've also cried to this song. The music video for this is stunning. Belinda is so beautiful. I love her. She's my mother. She's the mother of Shugan. Her and Rachel Goswell. I promise I'll stop talking about Bloody Valentine in a minute. I just need to go over one more album that I really enjoy. And it's You Made Me Realize. It's probably like one of my favorite albums ever. Is it anything and made me realize like, I just love those albums. They're really gritty. And You Made Me Realize, obviously, and Drive It All Over Me. But also Slow is really good. <laughs> like this song like I this song is wanna like you made me realize Mother Freaker. I love this song. This is like the summer song with the windows down. This song makes me want to like... Hi, 
Again, I need to put it to my ear. I love it so much. This is shoegaze right here. Let's talk about Slow Dive next. Um, let's specifically talk about their unreleased demos, I Saw the Sun and Sleep. <laughs> it just makes me want to cry. So I, th I saw the sun is very I don't know why this wasn't released Now that I'm thinking of it, I listened to a lot of slow dive during my depression era Especially 40 days <laughs> If you don't know, that song um, Neil Halstead wrote that song when he broke up with Rachel Goswell and he literally went to a cottage, smoked weed, and I think stayed for the whole summer in that cottage. Forty days and I miss you. I'm so hot that I lost my mind. It's um, also, I love Allison, and As the Sun Hits, of course. Um, by the way, this is off the album, Slovaki. Um, I think if you're watching this, you would know. This is like a classic. So I don't know if I should go much into this, but... I, I just... <laughs> Rachel Goswell and Neil were just like the cutest things ever. As the Sun Hits is also just a classic and I have a, some favorite lyrics in the song My game don't leave me Come so far don't lose me Okay, so we're gonna stray away from My Bloody Valentine and Slow Dive and we're gonna we're gonna be talking about this um Tanuki Chan and she made this song called Hunted Bands and it's so good. Like it's so good. Like I love this song so much. I know Hunted Bands is like what? Like what kind of SoundCloud shit? No. Com I was already listening to it. It's complete opposite. Everything's coming. This song, I need to put to my ear to feel it. The next song that I really enjoy this song is absolutely so beautiful. It's by Rumskib and it's Dream Poppers Tribute. Guys, this song is one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard. I remember when I heard it for the first time, I was just like so astonished. Like, and I need to learn more about them because I really don't know much about them and I really want to know who's behind singing these beautiful ass songs. Hi. 
how can you hate shoegaze? If you don't like shoegaze, I don't like you. Um, another song that I, and this song is like my, I know I'm like, so, I know I say like this song is like my fucking favorite, but this song is my fucking favorite. It's, um, Tastes Like Honey by Swallow. The lyrics really resonate with me. I relate to them a lot. Um, it's such a beautiful song. <laughs> So the next band I'm going to be talking about is Narrowhead. They're so underrated. They have very, very great music. And I recommend to go hear them out. They have the song called Twin uh, and Narrowhead, which is the song that I'm going to, I mean, no, Ashtray. This song is fucking amazing. Like, it's actually gorgeous. <laughs> Like, I just want to give them a high five. The next band we're going to be talking about is Drop Nine Fucking Teens. The album Delaware is a masterpiece. There's no skips on that album. Each song is so good. We have Kick the Tragedy, we have Winona, and we have Delaware. Also, they made a music video to the song, and it's really good. It's like a 90s teen. It's like the epitome of 90s. I really wish they had continued making this type of shoegaze um songs and their other albums but i know a lot of band members left if i'm not mistaken and i think there's only like two left so you know you can't really recreate this type of sound without the people so yeah next i'm going to be talking about a song from ride from their vapor um album um dreams burn down i would dance to the song with my shoegaze boyfriend like oh my god i'm so dumb the album's called nowhere not vapor trail vapor trails an actual song next i'm going to be talking about the cocktail twins which if you know me you know the cocktail twins are my favorite band ever 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 they're my favorite like i literally have a pin of them on my backpack and so this is like really hard but a song that always stands out to me when i hear them is musset and drums here i just have to talk about millinery this song i listened to a lot when i was depressed the next artist is shy i don't know like anything about this um person like at all i don't know their band i don't know anything but i do know that their song teria or i don't know if it's in spanish like ether etheria or like etheria or like ethereal like i don't know but all i know is that this song is just bomb they deserve more credit we're going to be talking about the jesus and mary chain again iconic um never understand really great and did you know that i forgot who but someone in jesus and mary chain dated mazzy star the wall is so small 
So the next person I'm going to be talking about is this musician from South Korea. His name is Paranal, and he released his album The Dream, February 2021. So he is fairly new, but his music is just so beautiful, and you should really go check him out. Follow him on Instagram and everything because he's so great. And that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Mostly it was just me fangirling about these songs, but shoegaze is really just a beautiful type of genre that I've never heard anything like it in my life. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you and bye.